Hi, my name is Ben Stone, and today is bow making day at Raz Imports. For many, making bows can be very intimidating, but hopefully as I show you these easy steps, you'll be able to create wonderful bows yourself. Pull off a small amount of ribbon. And you can go ahead and determine your size for your first loop. I'm going to make a medium to small bow today. So we pull the pieces together in a loop. And then I'm going to take it and do a pleat in the middle. Now before I get a lot of ribbon in my hand, I want you to see how I'm holding this. Because it's important, this is one of the hardest parts, is holding all the pieces together in the middle. I'm using this finger to pull in this side. I'm using my middle finger to hold the bottom side and my thumb to hold the top side. I'm going to create a loop on the opposite side and you need to make sure that it's close to the same. Okay, here's the first loop, the second loop. When I pull it back to the middle and I gather it together, I'm going to take my ribbon because it's facing the wrong direction to make the next loop. I have to take it and twist it. Do a tight twist in the middle. And then the ribbon is ready to make your third loop. You can shape as you go, kind of pull the wire so it bends with you as you loop. Follow back around with your other loop. Pull it to the middle and pleat it together. Again, holding it in your fingers. This is the part that just comes with practice over time, is knowing how to hold it. Everyone has their own way of holding that ribbon in the middle. This is just the way I have developed it over the years. I'm going to make about six loops on each side. I have currently one, two, three, four, five, so I'm going to make one more twist. loop I have five on this side we want to add one more turning the bolt as I go twist and loop now again let me show you my fingers here in the middle as I'm holding all of those pieces together Okay, I'm going to do about a two and a half foot trailer. Have your scissors handy and just cut it where you'd like. I'm cutting it at an angle, but then I'll show you how you can do another nice cut on the end of your ribbon as well. Now I'm going to take a pre-cut wire, some floral wire, and pull it around and bend it around all those pleats. You want to pull it as tight as you can. I keep pinching it forward till you get that middle very tight. Now I'm still going to add two more trailers, so I'm just going to twist once. You can get a, an approximate length of that trailer. You just double it up this. I will take that center. Again, like we did our loops in the middle, we'll pleat it together. And here's our wire on the back. We're going to go over the bottom wire and below the top wire, pull that towards the center, and then give it several good twists. Very tight. If you get it tight enough, you can literally pull this pretty tight without pulling it apart. 
They might slide a little bit, but that's okay. Just begin to shape your bow all the way around, pulling it towards the front. And there you have a nice, beautiful bow. We can take the ends now. You can either choose to leave them on a diagonal, or you can pull your ends together, fold it down the middle, and then cut a V into the bottom. Like this. And there we have it. So, have fun and be creative.